So parents are concerned about a plan to redistrict hundreds of students. The plan would send some children from Roswell North Elementary to a new school on Highway 9. Parents told us the change would stop their kids from safely walking to school. One parent told us her son has his own concerns. One of his concerns about changing schools is all of his friends that are just across the street are going to stay at Roswell North while he uh, is going to be potentially redistricted to the new school. Well, the district says it's reviewing feedback from parents and we'll talk about it all at a meeting next week. New at 5, one local teenager is in a special class today. His SAT score is perfect. Channel 2's Linda Stouffer went to South Fulton County to find out his advice for other students. It's about what generation we are. Andy's son is focusing on his next project for journalism class now that he wrapped up his SAT and saw that score. I was like, is this showing you what the maximum score is or is this my actual score? I wasn't entirely sure. It was both the maximum score and his score, 2400. Mom, can, can you look at this? I'm not so sure. <laughs> the 16-year-old junior at Woodward Academy is in a prestigious group. Less than 1% of students scored that high in one sitting. For Andy, it's, um, it's sort of par for the course. I Chemistry there. teacher Mark yeah. Carrington uh, told me yeah. Andy's <laughs> campus leadership is off the charts, too. He brings to the table lots of different components that, um, that, that you, you see a lot in various kids, but you rarely find it in one student. Andy has straight A's, a total of five AP courses, and is even nationally ranked in what he does for fun. Fencing tournaments now take him all over the world. He's now number two in the country for his age group. I asked if there's anything he's not good at. I'm actually not a good driver. And while he works on getting his driver's license, he's checking out a few colleges. Harvard, Columbia, uh, UPenn, uh, Notre Dame to Princeton, all those. His advice, work hard, do SAT practice tests, and... Relax and realize that there's a lot more. Amazing. When colleges look at you, there's a lot more <laughs> about your personality than just your scores. You're not defined by a number. In South Fulton County, Linda Stouffer, Channel 2 Action News. Bravo. We checked with the College Board for the exact number. It says among Georgia's class of 2014, there were more than 73,000 students who took the SAT.